Do I not look like a Valentine or what? Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I decided to do this really artsy looking Valentine's Day makeup. I really wanted to play with the color pink and some glitter and just have some fun. So if you're interested to see how I did this, keep on watching. But first, before we start this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload another video. With that being said, let's continue on with this video. Okay, so I'm going to get started filling in my brows. I'm using my tried and true NYX micro brow pencil in the color black. Really quickly, I am filling in my brows, as you see. I've really been into filling in my brows um, before I moisturize and put primer on. I learned that from um, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. Fun fact. Um, so, now I'm carving out my brows using the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And that's what you see me doing here. But I think I'm going to start using a lighter color because this is starting to get a little dark for me. So now I am using the NYX uh, eyeshadow base in the color white. And I'm going to use that to set my lids today. We're going to be going in with some bright colors and I really want them to pop. So that is what you see me doing here. I'm just blending that out. So today I'm using my Bright Lights palette from Pinky Rose. And super excited. It has beautiful colors in it. And I decided to go in with the color Becky, which is this hot neon pink. And right now I am just um, packing on the color. I'm not really blending it out right now. I'm just packing it on just so I can get the best color payoff. And then I decided to go with the color Tiki with a really tiny blending brush. And now I'm going to blend out those harsh edges of Becky just so I can get more of a gradient effect. Um, Tiki is more of a orangey kind of pink, just so you know. And then I decided to go back in with my white um, eyeshadow, back, eyeshadow base from NYX um, to do a cut crease. But I realized that the pink was mixing with the white. And then it turned it like this light pink and that kind of wasn't the look I was going for. Um, so I decided to then take a Q-tip and just remove the whole cut crease, which uh, was way better. So I just kind of used that cut crease as a guide to where I needed to erase. And then I went in with a clean layer of white and it gave me the desired look that I wanted. So that's what you see me doing here. So then I decided to go into the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And I went in with that white shimmer shade at the bottom. And I'm using that to set the white eyeshadow base on my lids. And now I'm going in with the NYX Crystal Liner in the color... Uh, what color is this? Crystal Pink. So I'm going in with crystal pink and I'm just going in and um, creating a glitter line just to separate the white and the pink, which is what you see me doing here. And now I decided to create a wing using the It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Liner. Um, I do like this liner. I do, however, feel like it does dry out pretty quickly if you don't store it upside down. So note to self. Now I'm using my favorite primer at the moment, which is the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer. I've been obsessed. And now I'm going in with the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick in the color Toffee. This was not my shade. This was way too light. And the next shade 
under is way too dark. So I'm going to have to mix the two colors because I do like the finish that it gives. But um, please don't judge me that this is not my color. I do correct it in the next scene with concealer. Um, but it's way too light for me. I, yeah, it was, it was not a good situation. But I do correct it because I realized as soon as I started blending, this was way too light. So then I decided to take my Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer in the color 16, which is more like my shade. And I literally kind of just put that around my mouth and blended that and mixed it with the wild photo focus stick and everything was a lot better. I mean, it could have been better if the foundation was more my color, but I mean, it is what it is. It happens sometimes. I just know I have to mix the two. So now I'm going in with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the color 15.9, and I'm going to highlight my um, face a little bit so you see me blending that out with the Juno & Co. Microfiber Sponge. So now I'm going in with the new uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in the color Banana because I wanted to try and I just got it. And I'm going to use it to set, um, where I put the lighter concealer, so under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, around my mouth. Um, and I actually really like this powder. It's super sleek. Um, it didn't cling to any patches or anything. So if you don't get have it, get it. Um, now I'm using my favorite eyeliner pencil in the color Zero from Urban Decay. And I'm just doing my waterline in black. And that's what you see me doing here. Now I'm going in with the Photo Focus Loose Powder in the color Deep from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face. This also kind of helped correct the color of the concealer. Not the concealer, of the foundation stick. Because this powder was a little deeper than my skin tone. So it kind of helped even everything out. So that is what you see going on right here. So now I'm going in with my favorite bronzer, which is my Anastasia bronzer in the color Cappuccino. And I'm bronzing my face because um, I was looking a little casket ready for a second. Um, so we need to correct that situation. So now we're going to do some fun stuff. I decided to take these um, Valentine's Day stickers and I'm going to stick them onto my face because I wanted to give some little heart details in my blush. This is not a wearable look that you can go outside where this look is for fun. Um, so this is what you see me do here. So this just makes it easy for me to create the hearts. Now I'm taking the NYX uh, Primal Colors eyeshadow in the color Hot Pink. And I actually like using it as a blush more so than eyeshadow. So I put that on first and then I wanted to top it with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the color Dare to Soar. And I love that because it's like a shiny pink. And then um, I went in with my fluffy brush and went back into Becky for my Bright Lights palette. And I am just stippling that color over the hearts. So like the hearts are even more pronounced when you take off the sticker. So you, that's just what you see me doing here. And you see, when I remove those stickers, how pretty those hearts are. They are gorgeous. So then I decided to even emphasize them even more and go back in with that really bright white color in that um, palette and lightly highlight the hearts on the inside. And that's what you see me doing here. So I did the same thing on the other side, and now I took more of the color Becky, and I'm just smoking out my bottom lash line, just because I'm extra, and that's what I do. <laughs> so that's what you see me doing here. So now I'm taking some um, glitter glue from Too Faced, and I'm putting that on my inner corner, and I decided to make this look even more crazy. I took um, these chunky heart glitters from back and they are called pink hearts i don't even know if you can still get them but it's really chunky glitter and i decided to put that on my inner corner as my highlight and now i'm just doing mascara which is my favorite mascara which is the essence lash princess the green one and then i'm taking more of that primal um colors actually that's not the primal colors that's the wet and wild um dare to soar and because it's a shiny pink I can use it to highlight, so I'm just highlighting the bridge of my nose, my lips, and that's what you see me doing here. So now I'm going in with the NARS uh, lip tints in the color 
staying alive is part of their mini collection and you can still get them at Ulta. It's like a pack of five. And I am using that all over my lips. And then after that, I believe I just set my face. And then once I set, this makeup look is done. And that's the look. This is my really fun Valentine's Day makeup look. I would love to see how you guys did your makeup on Valentine's Day. So don't forget to tag me in some of your pictures on Instagram. My link is in the description box below. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.